I have always said that mocks are important and they should rise for them and you should be rising constantly and always working hard in school but I think you year 10s might actually be the first year to properly believe me because um, the year 11s, the year 13s are being given their GCSE and their A level grades based on teacher judgments. Now, the exact details of this haven't been released yet. Um, it's probably going to be a combination of predicted grades and mock data and how that will be working in class. And um, I know for lots and lots of people, their predicted grades and how they're working in class don't actually reflect how they do in exams. But um, that is a situation that, that is happening for the year 11s and the year 13s. So, when I say please arise for your mocks and keep working hard throughout the whole year, I actually do genuinely mean it because they are important. Now, if you want more details about specifically what is happening to year 13, specifically what's happening to the year 11s, then go and watch these videos. But in this video, I just want to focus on what I can do for you at the moment and what the best thing that you can do for yourself um, to try and get through the next five months until school starts again in September because I do not think it is likely that we will be going back to school after Easter. Um, we are in the grips of a global pandemic that is killing large, large numbers of people and um, compared to Italy we are in a worse situation than they were two weeks ago so expect this to go on for quite a long time. Five months not going back to school till September is probably the worst case scenario. Um, so maybe think May half term. I don't think it's going to be going back to school after Easter. So to stop yourself going completely insane while shut in the house with your grown-ups and your siblings and whoever else may happen to be in the house with you, um, there are a few things that you, that you can do. Um, the first of all is just try and stick to your school timetable. Now, this is going to be the easiest, simplest thing for you to do. It gives you an even distribution of subjects. It gives you um, a change of things. Um, make sure you get out of bed and are starting work by nine o'clock. And yeah, I know this sounds, I know this sounds mean and harsh, but get out of bed, have a shower, get dressed, do your hair, do your makeup. If you spend the next five months sitting around the house in pyjamas, not bothering to shower because well, you're not getting sweaty, it's just it's just not a good thing mentally for you to do. So please, get yourself out of bed, have a shower, do your hair, do your makeup. Even if there is no one to see it, it will make you feel better. And I know these are little, little things, but during this time, any little thing that makes you feel better is worth it. Try and get some exercise each day. It doesn't have to be like going for like a 5k. Um, however, I was out at six o'clock this morning. It was lovely and quiet. No one else was out at that time. Um, probably because they were in the supermarkets trying to buy pasta. Anyway, um, try and get some exercise each day. Try and call somebody each day. Maybe you've got an elderly neighbour who needs that dog walking. Just try and help out wherever you can. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, I'm not going to be live streaming because my pre-recorded videos are better than my live streams. So um, I was going to do that for year 11s and year 13s because um, the, the, the question and answer would have been really, really valuable. But um, I'm not going to do it for year 10s and year 12s because I'm worried it's just going to be a case of like presenteeism and being on the internet just for the sake of being on the internet. Whereas if I actually spent that time sitting down, properly recording a video, checking it, going over any mistakes that I made, properly editing it for sound and colour, it will be a much better video than if I just did it live on the internet. So I'm going for quality videos over quantity videos. Um, now... What I'm going to be doing is every, probably every week, I'm just going to be publishing a list of lessons. So Monday we're going to do expanding brackets, this is the video you need to watch, this is the worksheet you need to do, this is the quiz that you need to do. Because I know a lot of schools are providing work, um, but sometimes just getting a stack of maths worksheets can be a little bit overwhelming and you might get the impression that you just need to sit there and do three days of maths and then four days of English and two days of science. 
and it's not like that. So try and stick to your school timetable. If you're a bit lost as to what to do, how to cope with this, then look at what I'm putting out um, each day and there's going to be kind of like, you know, go and do this little bit. Um, here, I'll just spend 20 minutes doing this, spend 20 minutes doing that. So we're going to break it up properly. It's all going to be nice and sorted and... Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for you. Um, all of the stuff I'm going to be putting out is going to be linked to workbooks on my website. Now, I do charge for these workbooks, but um, it is not very much. And because the exams have gone, my income for the entire year has gone. So I'm going to be giving basically anyone that buys stuff now 50% discount code on everything. Um, so that if you if you want to, um, if you, if you were going to buy the workbooks in year 11, just do me a favour and buy them now because they're not going to change. Like the maths workbooks aren't going to change between now and year 11 and you can use them for now. Um, the courses or the membership on my website is changing. Now um, the, the course that is currently up there, the whole GCSE course for £18 covers science and maths. And, you know, I spend a lot of time doing it, and I spend a lot of time writing it, and it's a lot of questions, and it's really good. However, I've spent the past year making a new website that is better. Um, so there's going to be more questions, there's going to be different levels of questions, it's going to record what um, your, like, what score you got on each quiz, it's going to tell you which ones, you, which ones you've done, which ones you haven't done, um, it's going to give you time to go back and go over the right and the wrong answers. So it's fundamentally much better. I wasn't planning on launching it until um, September, um, once the Year 11s have finished using your website. But the Year 11s have finished using your website now, so the new website will be launched after Easter. Again, everything on there will be 50% off until normal life regimes. Um, if you have already signed up to the, the current website, um, then... I will just give you access to the new website so um yeah times are going to be hard guys but um I'm going to literally try and do as much as I can for you